I'm on my way to Romford, home to many roundabouts and the birthplace of Richard Maidley. Famous for its tanning salons and nightlife, Romford has become the place to be. It even has its own newspaper. But there's a lot more to it than that. Hi, I'm Ricky Murray. Let's take a look around, shall we? Ever since Romford introduced its market back in the history days, not much has changed. It's still outside and it's still full of slow people getting in your way. Although they do now sell mobile phones, which I'm not sure you could get back then, whenever it was. The sweet aroma of rotten cauliflower fills the air as someone inevitably treads on your foot. But that's all part of its charm. Ow! Mind you, I'd rather that than get pinched by one of these little fellas. The market is certainly not lacking in character. Look at these two chums who think it's okay to play with their food. Hmm, an awful lot of flowers you have there, sir. Feeling guilty about something? Once the excitement of the market gets too much for you, then feel free to take a pew inside the St. Edward the Confessor Church. No one quite knows what it was that Ed had confessed to, although legend has it that it has something to do with him getting a little bit frisky with some local choir. What's he doing? He's having his lunch in the graveyard. Oi, mate, you've not seen the sign? No picnic parties. Unbelievable. Once upon a time, when you chewed on your nails, everybody in town would soon know about it. But then Rumford came along with its fancy nail bars and smoothed out those rough edges, so no one need ever know about your dirty little secret. And if you haven't got orange skin, but want to fit in, you should probably book in to a tanning salon. If you've ever wondered where numerous politicians think of effective, plausible and believable ways in which to waste your money without you questioning them, then it's here at Havering Town Hall. I'm also pretty sure it's the breeding grounds of the infamous CCTV smart car. You know, the one with the camera on top that creeps around making sure that no one has pulled over for more than three seconds to give way to another vehicle. Cynics believe they're a money-making scheme, but I couldn't disagree more. I think they're a fine asset to Havering's roads. Raphael Park, and this is where I have my picnic parties. Open to the public in the early 90s by the Red Ninja Turtle himself, the park is the ideal place to have a stare at the fountain. I've noticed people refer to it as Rafael's Park, but that wasn't his name. And I should know, as I used to watch it every Saturday morning. Raphael loves it here, so much so that he now rents a room in this swanky pad by the entrance. And from one cottage to another, these beautiful toilets finish the park off in a way that words simply cannot describe. All I can say is, they're not to be missed, although the cleaner may disagree. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Mmm, pretty good. Now let's talk shops. Like many towns with shops, Romford has many shops, offering a wide variety of items. And the brewery shopping complex contributes to this monotony. Although it hasn't always played by the rules, as, surprise surprise, it used to serve as an actual brewery. Security is taken very seriously here, which is why they've hired these giant bucks from the future to guard the car park. They wouldn't let us film in the Liberty. I wonder what they're trying to hide. But I don't care, you're not missing much. It's stupid, full of boring shops that you can find anywhere else in the country. Honestly, I'm not bothered. Tom Jones once said it's not unusual to be loved by anyone, and he was absolutely right. Here at Palm Springs, for a small fee, you too can be loved by any one of the available staff. Or if you're willing to splash out on two, there's nothing unusual about that. Cheers, Tom. You might not look it to think at me, but I was quite the skater in my younger days. And it was here, at Rumford Ice Rink, where I would axel jump and camel spin my weekends away. Unfortunately, that all changed in 2006, when I was banned after being caught smuggling chicken nuggets from the canteen onto the ice. Word on the street is, it's going to be knocked down apparently, so there's some justice in the world after all. 
After a hard day's work bullying smaller vehicles and stealing their dinner money, Romford's buses come here to wind down and chat about the day's events. There goes one now, ready to claim yet another victim. Come on, Boaty. Yes, I'll see you at the other end. It's funny, isn't it, how things change? I mean, nowadays, the words heavy, sick and ream all mean good. And there's this obsession with shortening words too, which I think is absolutely ridic. Of course, it was the text message that started it. This used to be known as the River Romford. But seeing as everybody's in such a hurry these days, they only have enough time to call it the River Rom. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, I'm in a hurry to get to the pub. There are plenty to choose from, including the goose, where you can ruin your lovely new suit by simply leaning on the bar. Or if you're looking for a place where you can learn and take in the smell of vomit, then the moon and stars has more books than you can shake a pint at. The bitter end, where they have not one, but two pool tables, so every customer can play at once. The Golden Lion. Don't worry, there's not a real lion in here, but do beware of the low ceilings, for they are a health hazard to anyone over four foot three. And then there's the Bull, where it's not an uncommon sight to see inebriated local ladies climbing towards the ultraviolet sign in a daring attempt to gain a free tan. Whenever I find myself at a loose end, I often walk the subways of Romford. They do the same job as a bridge, but they don't brag about it. And that's not all. Subways are an excellent place to crash at night. You'll be hard pushed to find one that doesn't smell of urine, but if that's your thing, then they are an excellent choice. So, if you need a place to stay, find a subway. Or if you think you're too good for a subway, why not slump into the Traveloge? It has doors, cupboards, and even a sink, proving that Romford is fully equipped to withstand the demands of the 21st century. Now, if you're a fan of waves but simply can't stand the beach, then Romford has the perfect solution. The Dolphin Swimming Pool, behind me, has a state-of-the-art built-in wave machine. Not really, it's an Asda now. So if you do come down here in your trunks, bikini or both, feel free to take a dip in the soup. You've earned it. In Romford, you are never far from a nightclub. And if, like me, you enjoy queuing up and shouting, then look no further than South Street. Look at them all, having the time of their lives. Dress code is smart casual, no trainers, unless they're converse, according to Kosho. Girls are granted free entry before a certain time in most clubs, sexist. They'll struggle getting into 131 though, as it has been closed down for crimes against music. Although some have survived despite committing these ghastly acts. For example, Edge where they will play the best of the hits that you've heard a million times and serve you the stagnant lager that will guarantee you come back week after week. And if you play your cards right, you could receive a free stamp on a hand of your choice. It will be a poignant reminder of your special night. And if that's still not enough, then you can gain entry no matter what attire you are sporting. You really will be living life on the edge of Romford Market. I'm alright mate. Cheers. You know, all those venues I've mentioned are good and all that, but for me, they all pal in comparison with RM1. It's pretty banging in there. In fact, I've had to come outside just so I can hear you. It is a firm favourite for many stubborn Romfordians. So if you're looking for a fun filled time, come here. You won't ever want to leave. But where do you go from here? Grab a kebab at Grill Spot Restaurant? Eat like a king at Royal Fried Chicken? Use your Dutch courage and jump in a minicab. Or do what I do and hang around until dawn for a traditional coronary inducing English breakfast. You'll be spoilt for choice though, as Romford has the most cafes in the country per square meter. So that's Romford. Pop down if you can, I thoroughly recommend it. Terms and conditions apply. And you never know, all your hopes and dreams may lie right here in this very sound. I've been Ricky Murray. You've been great. I'm going to go now. Goodbye.
Oh, uh, this has been a Romford Digital production. Check out their website. I did.